Yeah, it was kind of like uh, being Ricky Bobby in the slingshot. We all love that. Slingshot engaged. Uh, how else can I describe it? Unexpected uh, amount of power. Oh, the Tesla launch guy. That's a good example. Hey, Whoa, you go. God. <laughs> Damn it, that the accelerate. Maybe a little bit of an exaggeration of uh, the power, but uh, in the moment, it was pretty cool. YouTube, this thing is officially flown as you're about to see. Um, I just wanted to give you a little rundown and catch you up on everything that's happened since the last video about this thing. Um, it has been good. It, uh, I had to put a clutch in it as we discovered in the last video about this plane. And um, uh, a viewer of the channel actually was gracious enough to send me a clutch uh, in exchange for maybe some future work. Um, so that was a help, and I was able to get that right away. Had to do a little bit of machining. I have some photos of that. I just had to slightly modify the uh, adapter plate I had made. Um, I'll put a picture of it here. And um, it wasn't that hard if you have access to a mill, uh, which I luckily do. And was able to do that and get everything back together, put the clutch on, you know, uh, get it running, taxi it around the yard and stuff. Um, did a whole bunch of testing, did some static testing. Uh, making sure everything was good before, you know, even thinking about flying it. Um, which I eventually got to that point, obviously. Felt confident in everything. Brought it, uh, took the new trailer build, which was cool, and uh, loaded it up. Got it to the airport, and uh, that's what you're about to see. So, um, I'll let you watch these clips and um, see for yourself what it did. And then at the end of the video, I'll come back and tell you where we're at and my initial impressions of flying it. Um, so yeah, enjoy. And oh, so there's going to be me crow hopping this thing. You know, I crow hopped it probably for a half hour. So that was just me shaking it out and making sure everything's been good with the engine. I was going to blow oil line or anything weird, exhaust cracking. I kept crow hopping it, landing it, checking everything, doing it again over and over, just trying to be safe. And um, so... It's a little repetitive, but you'll see the end result. warm up as well.
gonna get 55, and I was climbing so hard I had butterflies in my stomach. I was like, oh my god! <laughs> and it feels like there's way more left in it because I wasn't, I wasn't even pulling back as far. It needed so steep to slow down the speed. I was like, it's still accelerating at that climb. Yeah, I know. I, I was like, like, holy crap! <laughs> yeah, I said you're not even getting into it. <laughs> no. Okay, so as you saw, it flies and it flies really good and I'm really impressed with it. It's, it has more power than I thought it was going to have. It had, you know, when I got to the point where I actually did like that, you know, 200 foot climb out and then cut the power and glided back down to the runway, I, I should have had a GoPro on my headset or whatever. Um, because I think I actually let out a woohoo and I was like, oh my god, this thing. It, I was pulling back, I was pitching for about 50 miles an hour and I'm used to a certain climb angle in these types. And uh, you know, I was like, okay, this is about right and I'm at full power and I'm looking at the airspeed just wind up. I mean, it was accelerating hard at that climb angle, which means I could climb a lot steeper. Um, I think the prop pitch needs a little bit of work. Uh, it's only revving to, uh, you know, 9,000, 9 to 9,500. Peak horsepower is uh, 11,000, red line's 12.5. So I don't know, there's not really a lot of info on how these things are gonna like to be flown and this and that. So kind of trying to figure that out. And uh, so I'm gonna mess with that a little bit and see if it makes it better or worse changing the pitch of the prop. Um, I eventually did a, you know, a pattern flight with it. Um, Everything is good, and, and then I ran out of daylight. And this time of year in Michigan, it gets so windy. Uh, it's been unseasonably warm. I mean, it's like 70 degrees today still, but we have so much wind, and flying these types of planes, especially in testing, I really didn't want any, any wind. So it's been limited how much I can fly it. I'm hoping to fly it here in a couple days again. Uh, at this time, out of my yard. Uh, I'm to the point where I think that to be comfortable and safe. Uh, plus all the crops around here are chopped down, so there's like endless uh, areas to land uh, if there's any problems. So 
that's where we're at. And uh, yeah, I want to get some fuel burn numbers. I want to actually get some climb rate numbers. I want to um, do a lot of things that I didn't have time to do with actually flying it yet. So that's when I have to wait for another video. Uh, in the meantime, I have a little bit of work to do to it. Um, I had some codes come back on it. I have a speed sensor code uh, that's, you know, it, it doesn't have a speed sensor like the snowmobile has. So I had plugged the speed sensor in just temporarily and just kind of zip tied it up and tucked it up. And it got rid of the code, but it came back. Uh, it doesn't really affect anything other than it's annoying because on the display for the sled, it blinks the code and then blinks the RPM instead of showing the RPM the whole time like, like I want to see. So it seems like a minor problem, just little things like that. Um, also, I, I want to put bigger tires on this. Um, I'm trying to make this thing like a dedicated stolen machine uh, with all this power. So I'm going to put uh, some Desser uh, 21 by 8s on it. I actually got some rims in for it, the super lightweight, cool ones, uh, go-kart racing wheels. Man, these things are light, so that's going to be cool. And then I'm going to do the disc brake conversion on this like I did the Firefly. It's probably going to be, uh, you know, mountain bike brakes or scooter brakes or something very, very light. Because I had a lot of, um, it, it just works so good on the Firefly that I, I don't see any reason why it won't work for this. And then I can get down and stop as quick as I can take off now, which seems to be maybe 100 foot, uh, which is impressive. So, um, yeah. So hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought. If you noticed anything or have any ideas, and um, hopefully I'll get another flying video in soon and uh, get some onboard flying footage so you can experience that uh, that pretty rad climb out that it does. So thanks. Ugly. Don't worry, we're gonna fix that. Don't look at it. <laughs>